Mexico City, a cultural and financial hub celebrating both the modern and the ancient, sits atop the ruins of the once capital city of the Aztec Empire, Tenochtitlan. Considered one of the world's most densely populated city, Mexico City is one of the few major cities not located next to a large body of water. However, it does live in a valley that used to be filled with a lake. In the 1600s, the Spanish conquerors, wanting to expand their empire, slowly started draining the lake. With little surface water left for the growing population, Mexico City was forced to pump from the aquifer below the city and from nearby lakes, something that still happens today. This dries up the land beneath the city and causes it to sink. According to government estimates, the city has sunk 32.8 feet, about 10 meters, over the last six decades, which explains the cracks in the streets and leaning monuments. In the few short days I was there, I explored the Teotihuacan pyramids, attended my first Lucha Libre show, my first yoga class taught in Spanish, and explored the pop-up market in Zocalo featuring foods from Oaxaca. This is the salty beef. I tried it this morning. It was delicious. And then, so you have some beans. Yes, uh, okay, eh? Chorizo. Okay, chorizo. I've never seen shrimp that red. And I just recognized the hormigas, which are ants. And we ate those in Colombia. Those are, yeah. Crickets. Those are crickets. Pescado? Fish. And these are other fish. This is Omega. Ants. That's very good. This is Omega 3. 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 I think it's just like some more sweet. Like fish. Fish, it's almost fish. Mm -hmm. Maybe Spicy. catfish. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of omega-3 around. That's a good thing. Yeah. It's all good, delicious. Yeah. Well, it's a big portion. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Number one. I can't believe I'm doing this again. Uh, don't look at it. It actually tastes much better than the ones in Colombia. Oh, this is big. Okay. Second one. A little mega in here. It's very fishy. I feel like I swallowed a whole ocean. Mini crickets that I've really never tried before. It's mini. I feel like there's a spice in there. Hay limón. Got it. Okay, so they have different flavors. So when I just tried it was lime. Now you try it. It's the hot chocolate. We had that this morning. And they, they use it with their hands. So it kind of froth it up. This is in a mole hot chocolate as well. So we have some cardamom. And my personal favorite is star anise. So I just tried it. <laughs> Guanabana. We had a guanabana smoothie probably every single day in Nicaragua and I had completely forgotten about that fruit. 
Quiotilla. Es la tuna oaxaqueña. Es que se dan la tuna de la penca. Solamente en Oaxaca se da. Es solo en Oaxaca. While you're in Mexico City, I highly recommend eating at Los Santantes in Coyoacán to try Hoja Santa and the Huitlacoche fondue. Huitlacoche is actually corn fungus, but it is a delicacy in Mexico and it's really good. And don't forget to polish dinner off with a little Spanish liqueur 43 in your coffee.